Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you the six best Chrome extensions for Facebook. So the first one that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Facebook for Chrome. While it's not an official app, it might as well be. It allows you to use Facebook without actually going into the website. So once you install it, you'll get an icon up here in the toolbar, and if you click on it, you'll be able to go through your timeline here through this small little window. You'll be able to like and comment just as you would on the actual website, and here on the side you can check out your news feed, your photos, you can post an update. You can check your notifications and you can also check out your inbox. Okay, so in case you guys use Facebook Messenger more than any other feature on Facebook, then this might be the Chrome extension for you. With Facebook Messenger, you'll be able to browse your inbox through your web browser. So again, you'll have an icon up here in your toolbar. You can click on it and you'll get this floating window here and here you'll be able to see all of your Facebook inbox messages. You can create a new message, you can also start a new group. Uh, if you tap on a message thread, you'll be able to scroll through it and you can also leave those emoji sticker thingies. Uh, you can leave a picture and you can also, of course, write a message. All right, so the next extension that I'm gonna be showing you guys is called Social Fixer for Facebook. Now, out of all the extensions that we have, this one has the most features and by that I mean it has a lot of features. With this you can get rid of certain annoyances in Facebook, you can add features, you can enhance existing features, and there's just a lot to do. So if you go to Facebook here you can see regular Facebook and if I refresh you'll be able to see the enhanced social fixer Facebook. At the top you'll see tabbed feeds. You can also view your timeline through regular posts, through links, uh, through Instagram links, and so on and so forth. If you want to check out some more of the features, you can tap on the social fixer icon here at the top. So I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to go to edit social fixer options. And here you can see a bunch of features that you can mess with. Um, here are the most popular ones. One of them allows you to hover over an image to get a preview of that image. You can change the font size. You can force enter to insert a new line instead of entering a comment. You can lock the header at the top of Facebook. You can show animated GIFs as actually animated rather than just pictures. You can also go through these and check out the features for your layout, for posts, for your display, for your timeline. I also messed with the theme. As you can see, this is gray and not the typical blue and white that Facebook has. And here you can see some of the themes that are available. The next extension that I'm going to be showing you is called Photo Zoom for Facebook. So with this feature, anytime you hover your mouse cursor over a photo, you'll get a larger preview of that image. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Facebook and hover over an image to show you guys. So as you can see here, I get a much larger preview of the picture. You can move your cursor around and it will follow. You can do this for pretty much any picture uh, on Facebook. You can even do it for cover images like this one. And you can also do it for ads, but I don't know why you want to do that. All right, so the next one up is called Facebook Customizer by Adblock Plus. This extension not only blocks ads, but also other annoyances in Facebook. So if we launch the application, we'll be taken here where you can choose from three different settings. You can block all Facebook annoyances, only the sidebar annoyances, and only newsfeed annoyances. So you can hover over show details to see what's going to get blocked. So here you can see in the right sidebar, trending, music pages you may like, entertainment pages you may like, and more are all blocked. Things in your newsfeed such as upcoming events, most shared on page, recently released albums are also blocked. And under other annoyances, you can see other things that are blocked. You can hover over each one and see which one is better for you. So I'm going to choose this one to block all annoyances. You'll also have to download Adblock Plus. So just click on install for Chrome and click on add and now we're done. So let's over to Facebook and here you can still see some of the ads. So if I refresh and you can see that the ads are now gone and also gone will be all those newsfeed and sidebar annoyances. And finally we've got Facebook Disconnect. What this one does is it stops Facebook from tracking the web pages you go to. So when you go to certain websites, Facebook receives information that you actually visited the website. It uses this for whatever reasons, for ads, uh, to tailor Facebook more for your liking. But if you don't want them to track you, you can just install this. There's nothing really to show you, so all you have to do is just add it to Chrome and you're good to go. All right, well, that's it. If you guys know of any other Chrome extensions for Facebook that we should also check out, let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. All right, thanks, guys.